So now I will continue with this uh, exercise. Uh, it will look like this when it's finished. So uh, I go back to the scene here. I will delete this uh, band. Select it, delete. Then I will add a band with stock. This one. Drop it here. Then I select this stock and uh, I will change the handles to size box handles so when you double click this handle you won't see the dialog box where you can edit the band stock length because this is a stock but you can right click choose uh, edit distance from point and uh, this will be uh, 15 I hit enter then on this side I will add a band this one drop it here but here I can double click this handle, choose inside sharp and uh, 18. And then I select this uh, stock here in IntelliShape level, and right click and go to edit cross section. Then I right click, choose two point line and I add the line here, click on this uh, line on the sketch and drag it in this direction. And I will extend and uh, change the angle of this line later. I press escape to exit the command. Then I come up here to select trim. I will trim this line. And um, press escape to exit the trim command. Then I select this line on this side of the midpoint so that I have this arrow here. Now I can double click this uh, dimension. Or if I come over to the properties, I have the same dimension here and it is already selected. So here I will type 40 and hit enter. Then I select this line on this side of the midpoint so that I have the arrow on this side. And I double click this um, dimension, the angle dimension. Type minus 15. Then I come up here to select extend and I will extend this line to the line here. Now I can select trim to trim this line. So when I click finish it will look like this. Then I move a camera to this uh, side and I will uh, move this uh, stock a bit or extend the stock so it will be uh, at the same level as the outside of this flange. And if I now drag this handle it will not work because uh, if I change to size box handles, right click, we see down here it is associate to attached edge end. So that means that, um, that this stock is attached to this band. It is attached because if I now change the length of the band, this uh, stock will follow. So that's why it is attached to the band. So to change that, I have to change to size box handles and if I now grab the handle and drag or push I will break that association and then I use the shift key to snap to this side of that flange like so. Then I move the camera to this side. So now I will add a stock, uh, add stock, drop it on this edge here. Then I will choose a band and drop it here and, and uh, another band and drop it here like so. Then I double click this handle and change the height or length to 10 millimeters from this edge to the bottom here. Then I want the distance to be or the distance between the outside of this flange to outside of this stock to be 15 millimeters. And there are a couple of ways you can do that. Uh, if you select this part in part level, you can use this handle to uh, change the distance between um, outside of this flange to the outside of the stock. But it's better to choose uh, this flange in IntelliShape level. So if I now hover the cursor over this handle, you see a white dot, that's the snap point for this handle. But I want to move that snap point to outside of this flange. 
and to do that I right click the handle, set handle snap point to this side. So when I hover the cursor over the handle we see a white dot here. And uh, now it's important to not to deselect because if you do that, that snap point will disappear. So while it is selected, I right click the handle, choose edit distance from point and that will be this side and this will be 15 millimeters. So if I now use measurement we will see that uh, it is 15 millimeters, like so. Then I want to, the distance from the top of this flange to the bottom here to be 30 millimeters and uh, to change that distance I will use this stock. So I select the stock in IntelliShape level, right click this handle and I will move the snap point to this side of the flange. So when I hover the cursor over the handle we see that the snap point is now on the top of the flange. I right click edit distance from the bottom and type 30 and hit enter. So now we have the right distance. Then I come over to this side. I will add um, a stock here. Select add stock, drop it on this side here. And if I now grab this handle, the shape handle and try to move this uh, edge or this uh, side of the stock, it won't work because it is attached to this side of uh, that flange. So I have to change to size box handles, grab this handle and drag to break that association. And then, now I can drop it here, change the height. And then I right click this handle, choose edit distance from this edge, uh, 0.5. Do the same here, edit distance from this edge. 0.5. And now I would like to round these edges. You could use uh, blend edges, but you can also use uh, vertex fillet here. It's a, a tool here in the sheet metal group. So if I drag the vertex fillets, it is important that uh, you drop it on the vertex. If you drop it on an edge, it will look like this. So you must drop it on a, on a vertex, drag the vertex fillet, drop it here on the, this vertex here and change the handles to size box handles. Click a handle type 2 in this case and I will also add a vertex fillet here, drag and drop it on the vertex here. Sometimes it will go that way. Uh, let's see now, I have to move the camera a bit, perhaps like so. And uh, then I change the handles to size box handles, select this handle and type 2. So, but sometimes it's easier to uh, use blend edges. So I will select blend edges, I want to add a, uh, a fillet here. And that will be 2 mm, a type 2 and hit enter. Select this edge. Here it will be 4, I hit type 4 and hit enter. Do the same on this side. 4 mm and, and the same here. And here. Also this edge. And this edge will be 2 mm and I hit enter type 2 and hit enter. And then we have an edge here. Select this edge and I think 1.5 will be fine here. Then I hit enter, like so. So next step is to add this piece, this one. So I will go back to the scene. To do that I will use um, a custom profile you find it at the bottom of this group of sheet metal tools. So I will grab this custom profile, I drop it on the midpoint, and you will see that this custom profile will also affect the bend. 
and that's what we want so I right click here now on the Intelli shape and you can use edit cross section if you want to but I will use edit cross section in flat so when I do that we will see a preview of um, this part when it's uh, unfolded and now I will change the diameter of um, this circle uh, I select the circle come over to the properties here I can type 5 and hit enter and I want to move it a bit so I will use smart dimension select the circle and then this bend line here and we get a message that tells us that when I click OK this dimension will disappear because this is a temporary solid so that's OK I click here and type 15 and hit enter and then I come up here to select two point line or before I press escape I use the W key and to get the look at command I click here so that we can see this from uh, perpendicular to uh, the surface it will be easier to draw the lines so now I can right click select two point line click here draw draw the line perpendicular to uh, the bend line here do the same here another two point line then I drag a line along the bend line like so then I come up here to select trim then I press and hold the left mouse button and drag the mouse to trim the lines then I let go the left mouse button and select the line, uh, circle to trim the circle then I click OK it will look like this so now to add more geometry to this um, sheet metal stock or sheet metal part I come up here in the sheet metal group and drag and add stock and drop it here on this edge now this add stock is now attached to the edges of um, this band so I have to change the handles to size box handles and break that association by pushing here and drag on this side and then I right click edit distance from this edge 0.5 to the same on this side like so 0.5 and then I right click the IntelliShape, go to edit cross section, use W to get the look at command and click here. And then I right click, choose circle, click on the midpoint and uh, then I will click on the end point to get the right radius. Press escape. Then I have to move this circle a bit so I come up here to select smart dimension, select the circle and then the bend line here and this will be 15 like so then I choose extend I will extend that line to the circle and this one as well then I come up here to select trim trim this line and the circle and click OK or finish it will look like this then I come over to the sheet metal group and select custom profile drop it on the center point change the uh, diameter change the handles to um, size box handles click the handle type 5 and we have the right diameter like so so now if I unfold this um, part right click choose unfold it will look like this So this was a basic exercise how to use uh, sheet metal in uh, IronCAD.